Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel where I talk about my stitching, uh, sometimes my sewing, quilting, other things, mainly my stitching. Uh, welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're returning, thank you for coming back and checking out and seeing what I am working on this week. Uh, today is Monday, March 18th. I was going to, um, I bought a sequined green hat for St. Patrick's Day and everything, at, but I didn't even record yesterday. So St. Patrick's Day just sort of came and went and that was that. Um, I do have one item to address that is very important. In the last video, I just had someone message me. They actually messaged me last night, but my phone did not give me the notification until this morning, right before I was going to record. Um, I received a message from a viewer s saying that they'd watched my last video and in a really nice way, they told me that I had been, uh, I had made an offensive and hurtful comment. And I really appreciated um, being made aware of that um, and learning and growing. Um, I, I, I had showed this wonderful gift that I received from Lisa, if you remember this, and I made a really insensitive comment about how I attached this. If you recall, I, th I said something like I did it ghetto style. And that, that's just a phrase that's been in my vocabulary. And the minute I received the message, there was a huge bing, like, hello, that's incredibly offensive. Why is that phrase even in my vocabulary? And so to that viewer, I have sent them a message. I'm thanking them um, for bringing it to my attention. Um, for the opportunity to learn and to grow and apologizing for being offensive because the last thing I'd ever want to do is hurt anyone with my words or thoughtless statements um, because we all come from different and diverse backgrounds, um, socioeconomic backgrounds and such. And um, I truly apologize to anyone um, that I've offended and those who even weren't offended. Uh, by that comment. I am going to work harder to do better. And so to that viewer, thank you for that. Um, I, like I said, I always appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow and do better and thank you. So again, I apologize um, to anyone who was offended by that. Um, and I, I promise to do better and be more sensitive. Um, so again, thank you to the viewer. Um, for that opportunity. Um, this weekend, okay, um, in the last video I sort of mentioned how busy my days have been um, and, and I've really been focused on planning out everything, even my stitching time. And so um, like I, I set goals for my sewing during the day and then I had set goals to meet by the end of the week for my stitching. And if you recall in my last video I had um, I was working on Flowers of the Holy Night and I was working on these three petals and I completely finished these three. I'd finished the outline of this one and just needed to fill in the border of this petal. Well, uh, I think it was Saturday night. Yes. I sat down and I, it just felt like work. Like I had scheduled more work and I didn't really want to stitch, but I knew that before I put this piece away because Saturday night was the last night I wanted to I was working on this I knew I really wanted the four petals complete so I I did that I finished the fourth petal got that done um, and when I started out it really did feel a lot like work but um, by the time I was done it it was fine um, it was this petal right here And so this is done. I'm putting this away. Um, I had someone, Tina, message me and she was concerned about the red dye transferring um, when I roll this up because I am going to take this off the, off the end bars and roll it up. Um, I had actually taken them off, rolled it up when I got my um, Dark 13 stitching out. And, and after I had done the Dark 13 stitching and was going to switch it back, I sort of was like, oh. What if that dye transferred? Because I didn't think about that. 
um, and it didn't transfer to to the fabric at all so that was a good thing but Tina was like are you gonna put fabric I'm a little you know is it gonna would it transfer she said it differently but I had already planned given that I would rolled this up once I'm definitely gonna lay a piece of fabric over this for when I roll them up because I am worried about that but someone else um, made a comment on the last video that when they've had uh, from ripping out red stitches and they leave it leaves the red in the holes I forgot who you are but I'm gonna look up your name um, they had a genius tip they take a piece of like scotch tape and they just press it over the holes until the red goes away how genius is that right I'm gonna try that on a scrap piece or if I have to rip out stitches because I stitched in the wrong spot I'm gonna try that tip but what an amazing tip so that is flowers of the holy night i am done with this one i'm going to be putting it away have my little christmas bag this is one that i made for myself and oops i saw the pattern in there sorry sorry y'all that's my working coffee um there so there that's better right um, i'm gonna put this up for about seven weeks so yesterday um given the whole stitching feels like work thing i had a plan for yesterday's travel day um my plan was that i was going to continue to work on seize the day cell and start the banner on the plane and just work to get the clue finished but i woke up and i was like oh, i don't I'm not looking forward to it because it feels like work and then i thought well it's saint patrick's day why don't i take my saint patrick's day stitching i should finish that again work right like meet the goal and so you know what I did I grabbed the St. Patrick's Day one stitching I put it in the car and then I grabbed my Kindle and I read a book and it was amazing the whole trip the whole trip to Mojave California and the whole trip back I just read a book um, I actually chatted with Callie a lot because we were picking up Callie yesterday and um, uh, her plans have sort of changed as far as her future. She doesn't want to do the Navy anymore. Uh, and she let us know yesterday that she's changed direction. And um, she, after graduation, her plan is to go live with her dad um, and get a job there, work up, save some money, and then go to uh, school there uh, for either nursing or I think um, esthetician or something like that uh, she's got a couple different things she's considering she wants to do some more research she just wants to figure out what she really wants to do and she's sort of in a I don't know place and we commended her for um, knowing that maybe the path she wasn't going down was the right one for her and instead of just sort of continuing down a, a bad path for her or standing still she's made different plans and has a new plan of action we've always told the kids that um, like we don't have set ideas or thoughts for what they have to do for their life it's their life um, as long as they have a plan as long as they're moving in a direction and we've always told them that people will move in a direction and find out this is not the right direction for me and that it is good and okay and shows maturity and growth for you to say this is not the right direction for me and then plan and go in a new direction so what that means is that um, she graduates uh, like March 23rd 24th something like that and then she's planning on the next day um, her dad's gonna pick her up pick up all her stuff and she's moving to California so I had a couple of my Oregonian friends ask me, are you bringing your Chatelaine to Oregon this summer? And when are you coming and how long are you staying? And that was all up in the air because of Cali. We didn't know if we were staying here for a while or gonna go with, you know, up to Oregon for a little bit and then come back. Uh, Cause Cali doesn't turn 18 until uh, the end of July. So it was like, is she going into the military early? Uh, do we have to stay here until she goes? Um, is she going to end up spending the summer with her dad and then go move somewhere else? We didn't know, but now we know. Uh, so we'll probably, 
I don't know, be heading up there. If we, if we do and we take the motor home, then I can take my bigger projects. But if we take the car, I can't. There's no room. Um, so we'll see. Um, we're starting to plan um, summer and such like that. But that also means, like for me, I was hoping to be able to stay a little bit through June um, and get more sewing bags done. And that may end a, like a week earlier than I expected. So we'll see. But that's what's going on with Kelly. Josh is doing great. Um, he told his entire class that I do YouTube videos. He told the whole class. And I guess one of his classmates, um, one of the female sailors, she watched my video. I'm like, why would you do that, Josh? Like all you young sailors, they're just going to be like, oh, so this is what older people do with their hobbies. <laughs> He's like, everybody thinks you're cute, like sweet. It's a sweet thing to do. Oh my goodness. But anyway, Josh is doing very well. Um, I know you guys like to hear about how he's doing or whatever. Fourth in his class, very happy. He's very happy with that. Okay, so last night after we got Callie, had the big old long conversation in the car about new life plans uh, and read the book, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and um, Terry, I can't remember. I'll have it up there. Um, I love Neil Gaiman. I love his books. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Um, but I really, one of his, the my favorite books of his is Neverwhere. Um, I love American Gods. But I didn't know about Good Omens, this book, until I saw the preview for the TV show that's coming out. And one of my friends was super excited about it and said the book was great. And I was like, what? There's a book? I need to read it. And so I'm reading that right now. I only got halfway through because Kelly and I chatted for a good long while. So anyway, my point in all that was to say I had a relaxing Sunday. No half to stitching uh, in the car during the day. I just read. I just relaxed. It was amazing. So when I got home, I pulled out Things Unseen and I was ready to go. Um, that's this chart here. And if you remember, I had finished the word they on this pattern I had they the first leg of the M and then this little motif had been finished um, so last night I finished must be felt this whole motif series and then the line underneath and it felt really good to get that done do you know why because I only have two lines left right here at the very bottom I know there's glare, I'm sorry. The birds with the heart and then the, the flower, the vine of, and a little star motifs down there. I'm gonna make it y'all. I'm gonna have a finish in this video. I am super excited. So yay, right? Um, and it, it felt good to actually get home and, and be ready and excited to stitch rather than having stitched all day on something that just felt like work because I made it work in my head not because stitching's work but you know when you set for me I had ended up setting so many like you have to do this you have to do that that it became work and stitching is not supposed to be about work right it's supposed to be about fun and enjoyment so yesterday became an enjoyable day so that's it for this week's segment or, or today's today's segment. Um, I will check in with you tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, um, I, I don't think I have any mail coming in or anything like that. So um, we'll see how far I get tonight. Mondays, I've all, I always say I have to write my blog post and stuff. Um, Mondays, I end up having a little less time to stitch, but we'll see. Um, We'll see how far I get. I hope I hope I can at least get those two blackbirds and the, there's a little a blackbird and then a little rose and then another blackbird and rose. As long as I can get both those blackbirds and roses done, that would be awesome. So we'll see if I make it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. I did not record yesterday. I didn't do any stitching Monday night, uh, so I didn't really have anything to share. Um, it's been kind of a crazy really busy week for us. Um, we started getting up earlier in the mornings to go pull weeds out in our side yard. 
and it just it just wears us out. We are way out of shape. We need to start walking again. Um, but yeah, so in the mornings we go out and we weed for like half an hour. Um, and then like on Monday we got in the house and it was like the Mondayest Monday ever for everyone here. Brad had his own issues. I was on the phone with a um, uh, doctor's office, the insurance company, and just, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, had to call a credit card company. You know how that goes. Um, and then yesterday I was on the phone with the post office um, waiting again, except this time my issue, I only waited for like an hour on a 40 to 50 minute wait. No, 30 to 40 minute your wait time is 30 to 40 minutes and like an hour and it, I waited for an hour, but then my issue was, was it handled, but it was like, this is the status. This is all we can do is wait and see where your package ends up sort of thing. Um, so that anyway, um, so I've been on track with sewing my bags, like bags, like I hoped, except I'm late today. Um, we just had some issues to deal with this morning, um, during and after breakfast. So I'm a little late. So I'm talking kind of fast cause I need to get sewing. Um, but I did, I didn't stitch Monday. Like I said, I did stitch last night. Um, and if you remember, I'm working on things unseen. If you remember, I probably talked about it two minutes ago in your video time. <laughs> um, anyway, so last I had completely finished this line right here. And last night I started um, with these birds and the flowers, like I said, I hoped, and I got to with the. Um, I actually ended up having to rip out this entire flower. I hadn't stitched the purple on yet, or not purple, it's like a raspberry color. Um, I'd stitched the vine or the stem and the leaves and this bird, but I had forgotten a row way up here. So I had to rip all this out and this out um, because I, I had gone by, you know, and counted by where one of the stitches on the bird were, was and I didn't realize it until I finished adding all these little purple things here and I thought this bird's tail is way up close to the flower. And then I was like, Ugh. so I ripped all that out restitched it and if I hadn't had to do that I would have gotten heart done um, but that's okay I'll do heart tonight and the bottom line and hopefully I will end up starting on this um, box of there's two stars and a little box motif there and um, if I can get that one done then on Thursday I can finish the rest of it and if that happens, then on Friday and Saturday, I haven't worked on my traveling stitcher Margaret overachiever pouch at all this week because I know I'm so close to a finish on this that if I get it finished earlier in the week, I can just devote all the rest of my stitching time through Saturday to the overachiever. Um, so yeah, that's its name, by the way. Now everything we do is like, are you going to Margaret that? Um, and poor Margaret is probably the sweetest little soul who just does the best she can and she doesn't you know she's not one of those horrible overachievers like I described if you're an overachiever that is not a bad thing don't don't think that I just you know when you're being snarky and you're trying to be funny and you end up insulting all the Margaret's out there uh, that's me someone said you don't have an inner idiot on my last post whoever you are you're so sweet yes I do I really, really do. And my inner idiot has come out a couple times during and after that video. So it's been awesome. Um, anyway, I did get a gift in the mail yesterday. So much for being quick. Um, the sweetest card. Um, I talk about Colette, the highway stitcher. Um, uh, she is just one of those people that, and I've said it, like friends for a thousand, five thousand years or whatever. But I have to tell you, the first time I met her, she had the sweetest smile. She, I walked into Acorns and Threads and I was shopping and she just walked up to me and she was smiling. She's like, hi. And I'm like, oh no, I should know this person, right? But I don't have a clue who she is. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't know who you are. And she's like, I'm Colette. And just clicked since then, since that moment. Um, and so she sent me the sweetest card just about friendship 
Um, I love hydrangeas, by the way. I, I um, have two hydrangeas at my the house in Oregon, and I cannot wait to get back to them. But along with this card, she sent me she sent me this out of print fabric. Y'all are going to die when you see it. It's Blackbird Designs sampler fabric. Can you even? And she said that I should sew myself a project bag. And I was looking at this fabric and I was like, yeah, I should. I don't have one of the pouch style bags that I sew all the time. Um, I never made one for me. I'm making one for me out of this because I have this beautiful, the fabric is like a cream and a brown. And I have this beautiful, excuse me while I pump my head down here. It's called copper glitter vinyl that is going to go perfect with this fabric, y'all. It's going to be amazing. Ugh, excuse me while I awkwardly try to do this. Yeah, it still looks awkward. I can't even wait. I can't even wait to make a bag for me all this. I, I don't know if I'll have time by the retreat. I really wanted to sew myself. I've been meaning to do this. I've said this before. I've been meaning to sew myself a purse and wallet set for probably three, four years now. I've talked about it for that long. And I just don't have time because I'm sewing other stuff. I'm, I've got commitments made. By the way, y'all, I calculated if I make my nine bags per week for three weeks in March, three weeks in April, because I'm going to be focused on the retreat, the retreat week, and then the three weeks in May, I will have enough to pay off my credit card, pay for the hotel for the retreat, and I may have like maybe, maybe a hundred dollars left over to go shop at the attic. Can you even? I'm so excited. That means I can't spend anything. And then Kelly just came at me the other day and she's like, Mom, I found the perfect prom dress. And I was like, oh, I forgot about prom. <sighs> that's okay. Um, I may not then get anything at the attic and that's okay too. I actually hadn't planned on going to the attic to buy anything because, you know, hello, Stitch from Stash. Um, but then I was thinking, oh, maybe I can kid up Jennifer Gilbert, 1818. And then now I'm like, no, I have to buy a prom dress. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I may sneak in an extra bag or two so that, um, or three, so I can do prom dress and get a little bit at the attic. That might work out. How exciting, right? I'm mostly excited that I'm going to be able to pay off the credit card and get the, um, the hotel payment for the retreat done same time. Bam. Yeah goals, right? Okay. So speaking of, I need to shut up now, eight minutes into my video and get sewing. Um, so Colette, I did not thank you enough for this. This is amazing. If I have time to sneak in a bag before retreat to make me one, I definitely will. Um, and I thank you so much for thinking of me. This fabric is everything. I love it. It's so perfect. Um, and you are just an amazing person and an amazing friend. And if you guys have not watched Colette's videos, go watch them. She is amazing. Um, and she just finished um, the Wisdom Sampler uh, by, is it the Vermilion Stitchery? Something like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and her lace work is amazing. Uh, so yeah, go check her out. Um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Until then, bye. Hi everyone, today is Thursday, March 21st. Um, today I have some progress to show you on things unseen, not as much as I hoped for, if you remember yesterday, I said I was hoping to stitch, uh, the word heart here and then stitch the whole line right under that, under the birds. Um, and with the heart, I know it's hard to see in the, um, in this picture and with the glare. Um, and then I was hoping to get to this little box. Uh, with the star motifs in it. Um, all I did was get heart stitch last night. Uh, yesterday was super busy day, had a lot going on in the evening after dinner. Um, so I didn't, I didn't get any, I was just happy to get heart stitched. Uh, by the time I sat down to stitch, it was probably almost nine. And so I got about an hour or so of stitching in and then just I was done with the day. It was just busy. Um, ended up measuring my daughter for the prom dress she found on Etsy. 
I asked her, listen, you're ordering, you're wanting to order a custom dress, floor length, chiffon dress. I'm like, you've seen those pictures on the internet, right? The memes that's like what the internet says it is. And then you get the dress and like what it actually is. <laughs> She's like, yes, mom, I've seen those. And I said, okay, how are the reviews on this shop? And she said, they're really great. They've actually got pictures. It's a, it's an Etsy shop. I'll put it below if you're interested in checking it out, but it's basically a shop that does custom like bridesmaids dresses and stuff. And there's a lot of beautiful dresses, pictures from people, a lot of satisfied reviews. So I said, okay, fine, we'll do this. Um, she's like, the dress is only $108. I'm like, are you what? No, it's not. She's like, yeah, it is. I'm like for a custom made dress. Are you sure? Yeah, mom, that's what it says. So I go there, well, it's 108 if you want knee length, but if you want floor length, which she does, it's like a hun it's like an extra $30. And I'm like, all right, still 138 is not bad, plus shipping was like 990 so it was like $148 for a prom dress. Um, I'm cheap. I usually like to go to JCPenney and try to find like a $75 dress. I did that with my oldest daughter. She found a dress, she loved it. This is my youngest. I don't know if I'm spoiling her or if that's like a reasonable price for a prom dress, but she, I know she's only going to wear it once. She chose the na a color in like a navy blue and she's like, so then I can wear it to other events. But I'm like, with this dress, I'm like this, it's almost backless, but just with straps, like, where are you going to wear that again? But I'm not going to ruin her day, right? So had to take all of her measurements last night, ordered it. And I asked her, I said, okay, if it's custom made, how long does it take to make? I mean, prom is May, like uh, the Friday or Saturday before Mother's Day, the 11th, I think. I'm like, uh, what's their turnaround time? And she's like, I don't know. I'm like, girl, you got to look at the stuff. You want custom made stuff. Well, I didn't think about that, mom. I'm like, these are the things you need to think about in life. You know, you want a custom made dress. They can't whip that up in 24 hours and send it on to you. Um, so it's like five to six weeks. Uh, and so we had seven, seven weeks before prom. So I'm like, we're just barely getting that in on time because you got to give like extra time for stuff to happen. You to go find your shoes and whatnot. So anyway, got that done last night, got my stitching done and yeah, it was just a really busy evening. Um, I did get some mail today and y'all I'm super excited about this. Did I order something? Yes. Now here's the funny thing. Okay, I'm excited about this order. One, because Trish Turner of Threads and Twined has her new web shop up and running. Now she is based in Windsor, California. She's got a brick and mortar shop there. If you're up in Northern California, uh, go check her out. I wish I could. Um, but I, I have to do my shopping online because I don't, I don't have a local needle, needle workshop. Yeah. I don't have an LNS. So, um, anyway, Trish said, when I get the website up and going, would you check it out for me? Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what you like, don't like that kind of stuff. Just, you know, check it out. So I went online y'all. I did my job, right? I spent like an hour and a half. On her website um, I'm gonna tell you the things I love about it uh, one everything is categorized so like if you want to go to the shop you can just go um, you click on it and it go to shop um, I will say right now the website is running a little slow they know this they're working on it with the developer um, I checked it yesterday basically if I clicked a link to go somewhere if I would count to like four the page would load uh, but if I would click it and be impatient, click it twice, it would take a little longer because it's like, hello, I got the message. Why do you keep sending it and have to try to keep reloading it? So just be a little patient right now. They do know that it is running just slightly slow. Um, it's not like dial up slow. You know what I mean? We all have been there. Um, but just a tiny bit, uh, just be a little patient. But the website is set up beautifully. You can go to categories. You choose um, charts and everything is listed by designer. Um, so you can go shop the designer you like. I went through all of them. Uh, she's got charts from Market already uploaded. Um, she's got thousands of charts. She's got fabric, she's got threads, everything you could 
possibly want. Now, when you click on a listing, uh, it gives obviously a picture of the listing. Uh, she's still uploading pictures and descriptions right now, but most everything is loaded. Um, and in the description, she gives you the, um, the chart size, uh, the floss list. I mean, it's amazing. I, I know some websites do that, some don't. Uh, and that's one thing I really, really liked is that she actually in the description would give you the floss list as well. Um, I always like that. Um, also, if you're just looking for like one chart, you can actually check out from that product page. You can just hit, go to PayPal, and it takes you right there, order it, bam, you're done. If you wanna browse, like I do, it's got a normal cart function. Um, let's see, I made a list. There were a few things that I really, really liked. Um, she is going to have a wish list feature. Now, with the wish list feature, I don't think it's done yet. Um, uh, I will have to look and see, but with the wish list, I. Uh, if you make it so it's public, she's going to pick something off someone's wish list every month and ship it to them. So you make a wish list, you make your wish list public. Who doesn't want a public wish list, right? Like, what if we know who you are and we're like, hmm, I wonder what's on their wish list? And you go do it. We all love the one, two, three stitch wish list, but I love that she's gonna do a pick something off someone's wish list once a month and just send it to them. Hello, yes, please. Um, okay, I gotta go to my list of things that I sent her that I really liked. Um, the search function is fantastic. I put in patriotic charts, bam, all the patriotic charts came up. It was wonderful. Um, oh, biggest thing. She actually has on each page listing how many items are in stock. So you're not having to wonder, is this a shop who like says it's in stock, but has to order it? I'm not gonna have to wait for it. It says five in stock or whatever. Um, I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, and I, I think the biggest things that I, I liked that I messaged her about was the floss list in the description, including the chart size count. Um, and, and knowing how many items are in stock. So of course, in order to do my due diligence, I had to check out her, the checkout process, right? I have to report these things accurately to you. Went really easy, except <laughs> I felt so bad about this. Um, I checked out with PayPal. It didn't add shipping. It adds shipping now. Uh, but I messaged her and I'm like, uh, I pay for this. It didn't add shipping at all. Um, do you want me to just PayPal you or send it? And she's like, no, don't even worry about it. I just, it's a no, I'll go fix it. Uh, so it adds shipping now. Uh, but checkout process was incredibly easy. She accepts PayPal, credit cards. Um, it was fantastic. And uh, I really, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't be an accurate reviewer of her website and, and help her out with all the proper information, obviously, if I didn't buy something. So you guys are all wondering what I bought, right? Okay, first off, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. I have to put a post-it note over my address, how she shipped it. Now, she actually shipped this with two pieces of board in there. And my chart was sandwiched between them. Uh, and I don't know if that'll be common or if that was just, um, you know, this chart, because when you see this chart, you'll know why she put two pieces in there, but she shipped it in this really cute envelope. I love it. Do not bend both sides. Now I saw that mail lady coming. I knew what was in the mail. I ran out there, but before I got out there, I know she was getting ready to bend my package before she put it in the mailbox. Cause she looked up and she's like, oh, I have mail for you. Yeah, you do. Okay, so it's not in here. I opened everything, but she wrapped it in this beautiful dragonfly wrapping paper. And look, thank you. And this beautiful French looking uh, washi tape stuff. <sighs> it was wrapped in that. And then of course, in the, in the in, in sandwich in between, she sent a free chart 
Um, it is, I don't know, it's printed on really nice thick paper. Um, it's from Praiseworthy Stitches and it's Peacock Love. And I don't think I can show you the chart, but um, so I'm going to do that. It's a free chart. I'm sure you can find it on Praiseworthy Stitches website. Uh, but yeah, she printed this on really nice thick paper, not just a piece of printer paper. Now, um, my thing came folded up, or folded, came wrapped in plastic, uh, but I took it out. She also included two skeins. Could be for me because I'm special. No, probably not. I don't know. Uh, two skeins of dinky dye flosses. Um, this one is wild strawberry. It's gorgeous. And this one is evening in Paris. Um, hello, where's my... Y'all know me, right? I set that comic book board down and then lose it every time. Those colors are just so beautiful, so beautiful. And I love dinky dyes. Okay, so what did I get? There were a couple um, Hands Across the Sea charts from Market that I really, really wanted. Ellen got one of them. Uh, I forgot what it is. Um, Ellen, uh, Needleworker Ellen on um, Instagram, Ellen Chester. She's the designer of With My Needle. Amazing charts. Ellen is amazing. Uh, if anything, you guys should just go follow Ellen just to see her stitching and all of the samplers she does. She inspires me constantly. I chose Elizabeth Weston, 1830. This chart is beyond beautiful. I can't even tell you. Okay, their charts are amazing because they're booklets. They're not charts. Um, but they included in this <laughs> such a klutz. This beautiful floss card. All the flosses on it has a verse from Gregory Chaucer on the back. I'm not going to read it right now because I don't have my glasses on. Um, I haven't read through this yet. I usually like to really take my time, but of course they have the whole um, information uh, on this sampler. Um, usually they give a little history of where this person was. I um, absolutely love it. I'm just going to show you a little teeny tiny corner of the chart just to show. Mm, can't see. There you go. It's all in color. It's all really, really bold. Um, there you go. Um, beautiful chart and right in the center is a huge picture of this chart. Of this sampler. It's stunning. And I'm going to tell you the one thing that drew me to it is this chart, the colors, um, the, those two birds, mainly the colors. And I think because um, this light pink, there's like a light pink in here. And it reminds me of the light pink in the Jennifer Gilbert sampler chart that is my absolute favorite, favorite um, hands across the sea chart. Um, but yeah, this is just so gorgeous. They gave the Swa Dal, I don't know how you say that, Swa Dalger, Dalger, I don't know. Um, uh, floss color, DMC and NPI. Um, and there's quite a few flosses, one, two, 24 different colors. And um, a few are two skeins, three skeins. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Lots of floss on this one, but it's beautiful. And this is, this is what I got. Okay. So why am I sharing all this with you? Well, one, because Trisha's website is beautiful. I think you should go support, uh, her and her, her new, um, website. But also she told me that all of my viewers get 15% off through the end of May using the code stitch all the things. One word, lowercase. I'll have it up there. Yes. Uh, and I've noticed that a few of her items on her website were just slightly below list price, uh, like Cardinal Points. I think that's an $18 chart. It was like 16 and change. I'm going to say 16.39 or something like that. Plus 15% off. Y'all go run. Um, so to Trish, thank you so much. I know you've been working for months. She's been working for months trying to get her website up and running. She wanted to get it up and running right before market. Uh, I think it, it just, she's inputting so much data uh, into the website. It's, it, it's a lot of work. I don't even know how she can just like not, 
how she's not cross-eyed right now. Uh, but she's working really hard on this. It's a beautiful website. Um, and I'm so grateful and thankful that you offered the viewers here 15% off. That's tremendous. And I'm thank you so much. So don't forget, I will mention this probably in every video until the end of May. Um, uh, yeah. And, and Trish is amazing. Her, she shipped this on, uh, I ordered it Saturday night. It shipped Monday. I got a shipping notice, uh, when my order was complete. So that part of the end, she actually checked. Did it send you one? Yes, it did. Um, so, uh, and, and it got here Thursday, but I think it took a little side trip. When it goes to like the Phoenix hub, um, it takes longer. If it gets straight to Vegas, I think it gets here quicker. But I mean, still Monday and it's Thursday and I had it by 11. So that's awesome. Uh, and that was first class mail. That wasn't priority mail. So that's fantastic. Uh, so I'm really pleased with how the easy the website was to use, um, all the information on it. Definitely setting up my wish list. Fingers crossed. Although Trish has spoiled me rotten. Uh, so uh, yeah, it like the giveaway, like the drawing for somebody's wish list should not be me. Um, but you know, y'all kind of hope that like, oh, maybe it's me. Could be you. Go set up your wish list. Um, I will update as soon as that feature is up. So that's it for today. This long segment was all about Trish and her website. I'm super excited for her. I'm proud of her because I know she's worked so hard to get this up and running. And I'm super excited about Elizabeth Weston. Oh, funny side note. I told you Carrie's my accountability partner, right? I was messaging her the other day. The day after I ordered this, or two days after. And she said, I went and picked up some postcards today. Do you have anything to confess? That woman, she is like some sort of radar or something. I was like, uh, yes, actually I do. I am, she's like way in tune to my shopping habits. I don't even know what's going on there. She's thousands of miles away. And she's like, you got something to confess? Yes, yes, ma'am, I do. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today is Saturday, March 23rd, and this is going to be the last video in this vlog series. Um, I feel like a week has gone by since the last time I recorded. Um, it's been really, really busy for me. Um, the new schedule I set up for myself is a bit more demanding than I normally would do. Um, I think I explained a bit before in an earlier segment the reason why. Normally I wouldn't try so hard to to get nine bags sewn per week, but um, our time got shortened uh, to my daughter's graduation date, May 24th. Uh, my husband is ready to hit the road, um, so I, I lost time that I thought I was going to have. I honestly didn't think she was going to be leaving um, here until like mid-summer. Or later um, and then not only that my husband told me that of course we've got work to do to get the house and the motorhome prepped and everything ready for the house sitter and all that sort of stuff um, but so it just took a lot of time away um, and I've also committed to making extra bags for um, different reasons um, for charities and events and um, I don't think I'm gonna get it all done <laughs> I may have to rework my plan. Um, my husband and I were talking. Um, he said, since we're going to be bringing our motor home up to Oregon this summer, that I can take as much of this as I want, because uh, we do have a ton of room in that. So um, I'm glad to hear that because there were some bags that I wanted to make as gifts for friends in Oregon, and I wasn't gonna have any time at all before we left, and I still won't, but I can bring some of my stuff with me um, and then so up there if I want so that's good news and then I don't have to stress so hard but basically I, I've not had any time to record um, I've had emails comments everything backing up on me I've felt a little overwhelmed I know Susanna is sitting there staring at her TV right now and going just breathe Christine she's gonna leave me a comment that reminds me to breathe uh, so I am doing that Susanna I promise I'm just having to rework some things in my mind um, as far as goals and things. Um, 
I'm still going to try to do nine bags a week, but I'm also going to try to slip in a few extra to see if I can get them done in time. Michelle Bendy, she left me a comment yesterday, I think. I think it was yesterday. I'm actually hoping it was this morning because she said 19 days until she sees me at Arizona Sishanigans. And I was like, I 19 days? No, has to be like a month away. I'm not ready. Not ready. Anyway, so I've got a lot to cover in this video, so I'm just going to stop talking and start sharing. Um, before I go uh, and show you a finish, because I did finish things unseen, I had a shop owner, from an Etsy shop owner, um, contact me and ask me if I would share some of her patterns here. And I'm going to, full disclosure, she asked to compensate me for that. Um, I looked over her shop and her patterns. I told her, no, I didn't need any compensation. Um, but she offered to um, give me uh, some patterns. So um, I'm going to go over the patterns that she gave me first. And then I'm going to tell you, she has a site-wide sale on her shop. Um, I'm going to look up exactly what she said so I do not get it wrong. Her entire Etsy shop, she's giving to all of you viewers um, a coupon for 25% off. The coupon code is EASTER, 25 off, I'm not wearing my glasses, all caps. I will put it up here. I will put it in the comments box below. Uh, the pattern she wanted me to share this week is a beautiful cupcake pattern with a hydrangea. Uh, it's called cupcake. It's so pretty. I love hydrangeas. I have a hydrangea bush outside the house in Oregon. I cannot wait to get back to see it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and this pattern is super cute. It's perfect for Easter, Mother's Day. Um, absolutely adorable pattern. I love that. Uh, so don't forget everything in the shop and it's good until the end of March. So if you want to get a pattern, um, get it now before the end of the month. Um, but I have to show you the patterns I chose. Now I asked for this one first and I just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Look at this little dwarf. She calls it a dwarf. I called it a gnome uh, when I first saw it and I actually asked her for the gnome. How cute is he? With his little patched hat and his little red boots. I am dying to stitch him up. I He is so cute. This is not my style at all, but I saw him and I just, my heart melted. I loved him. Um, and then I asked her for this snowman pattern. Um, uh, I'm showing these, but I'm also having pictures up because these pictures are small. I printed out the first page of the pattern. But look at this little snowman trio. How cute is that, right? Happiness, joy, and I don't know if that says wealth or health right now. I think it says wealth, but I may change that to health. Uh, but I can't tell because my glasses aren't on, so I could be totally wrong. Uh, but so, so cute. I, I just completely adore them. That whole family, that bird, everything. And then she just sent me this extra really cute Easter chicken pattern. Look at how cute that is absolutely adorable. So I was really honored um, that Katie asked me to share her shop. It's Silk Stitches on Etsy. Um, it, it really, it was really nice to have someone ask if um, for me to look over the pattern, see if I'd want to share any of that here on my channel. Um, and there are other cute patterns. Um, I'm having them kind of cycle through uh, that I saw. I saw some unicorns. They reminded me of Lottie. Stitch a lot from um, Carrie and Stitches channel. Hi, Lottie. Um, yeah, saw the unicorns, immediately thought of Lottie. I just popped right in my head because she loves unicorns, y'all. Loves them. Anyway, okay, so I, uh, I just wanted to share that now. Also, before I forget, I mentioned in the last segment, Trisha of Threads and Twines, in, yeah, in Threads and Twined, her shop is up and running. Um, 
she, I mentioned the wish list feature, it's up. Um, yeah, I set my web, uh, my um, wish list up. I only put one thing in it because today has been crazy. Um, that's why I'm filming from a different view. If I were sitting over here, um, uh, the sun would be all on me. It's probably half on me. Yeah, you could see this line right here. So I moved over um, because it's, it's late. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just really late, really busy, so much going on. Um, but, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I checked out the wish list today and I wanted to add, there's lots of stuff I want to add, um, to my wish list on her shop, but I, I only had time to add the one. Now you have to have an account set up on the website, I believe. Um, and if you don't, it'll prompt you, you sign in, um, you have to add something to your wish list in order to make your wish list public. So once you've added an item, you go to your wish list and then there's like a tab for all of your wish list items and then there's a tab for your settings. Um, so when you go in and you set up your wish list, you can name it, um, you can describe what it is, um, you can make it public or private or shared so you can share it only. But remember, if you make it public uh, once a month, Trish is going to pick uh, someone, an item off someone's wish list and just send it to them. Make your wish list public. Plus, if someone sends, wants to send you a gift and your wish list is there, bam, done. Um, so, yeah, make sure that you um, you set that up. And don't forget 15% off everything in her shop. I think everything. She didn't give me any exclusions. 15% um, off. If she does give me exclusions, I will tell you. I will clarify. 15% um, off till the end of May. Stitch all the things. Coupon code. Don't forget to use that. Definitely check out her shop. Okay, are you ready for my finish? I really should have a bigger board uh, because of the sun, but I don't. I'm gonna see if this works. All right, this is things unseen. Uh, yeah, that's not working. How about here? <laughs> I'm right where this needs to be. There we go. I'm so proud of this piece. I finished the stitching last night and then this uh, afternoon, because of my super busy day, I ended up um, putting on all the buttons. So I'm gonna just try to get it up close. You can see um, one button right up here by World. And then all of the Mother of Pearl buttons are in the bouquet, there's five of them. And then the last button is there on the bottom. Now, I did not stitch the border on this. I uh, wasn't going to do it. Nope. Whole lot of nope on that, as Danielle would say. Uh, did not feel like it. I am. This will fit exactly with um, the way I stitched it with um, seven eighths of an inch, not on each end, but seven eighths of an inch extra. To divide between the top and the bottom um, and then um, what was it three quarters of an inch to divide on the sides so it will fit perfectly in an 11 by 14 frame is my point um, with just a tiny ish bit around the margins so tomorrow my husband and I we are going to Joann's um, up in Bullhead City. We just need to get out of the house and go for a drive and kind of unwind a bit. And I told him I'd like to go up to Joann's and see what's there and see if they have a frame. I'm also going to pick up DMC flosses for a Savior's Praise. I checked in with Julie. I've been bugging her. <laughs> I'm such a bad customer. I'm so impatient for this. Poor Julie's like, oh my gosh, woman, be calm. Um, but she said uh, we should be getting that. Uh, a Savior's Praise within a week or so. A uh, week or two, I think, is what I asked and said, do you think it'll be in? And she's like, definitely thinking so, hoping so. So as soon as that comes in, I will be starting that. Um, if you don't know Ellen Chester with my needle, Ellen, um, she's Needleworker Ellen on Instagram. On Sundays, she is having a stitch along, a Savior's Praise sampler. I think that's the hashtag. 
Uh, and I'd really love to stitch on that on Sundays. It's absolutely the perfect day, one, to stitch on that piece. Um, and I can't wait to stitch it. It's beautiful. And Ellen has a great start on that. Uh, some things that I've got in. Y'all saw Michelle Bendy. She lost her floss tube, right? Lost all the videos. She has them, hers, and she's re-uploading them on a new channel. If you didn't know that, I think everybody knows that. But if you didn't know that, I have her new channel linked below. Uh, but I realized I've deleted all my videos off my computer. I wanted the space. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what if something happened to my channel? And I saw where I can download my own videos again from my YouTube channel. So I got me a one terabyte portable um, disk drive. And I'm going to put them on that. Did I say gigabyte? I meant terabyte. Okay, I have a super funny story. I'm talking really fast only because I know the video is going to be long anyway. And I had so much to talk about today. Um, so I apologize if it seems I'm frantic. Um, Susanna knows me. All right. This is funny. I'm going to make sure my door's closed. Okay. When I moved my craft room in here, I took um, quite a pile to Goodwill. And I told my husband, do not go into Goodwill and buy me any stitchy stuff right now because you may be buying stuff that I, um, that I donated. So it, if there's anything you think I might like, call me first and I can tell you if it's something I donated or if it's someone else's. You know what's coming, right? So he walks in yesterday and he's got his hands behind his back and he says, don't tell me that this was yours. And he holds this up. And I looked at him and I'm like, He just yells out a curse word and walks out the door. He like throws this on my table and he walks out the door. And he's like, that's 35 cents I just wasted because yesterday was half off day or something. Okay, now the funny, the funnier part, I didn't even tell him this. I did not have the heart to tell him this. Is he bought this? for me like a year ago from Goodwill, but I didn't like anything in it. So I donated. So he doesn't know he bought it twice. I can't even. I'm cracking up. Oh my gosh. So he walked out the door and I was just like, I have to stitch something for him from this booklet. Like obviously, right? He bought it twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta stop. He's gonna come in here and wanna know. That's so funny. Oh, I probably got mascara running down. Okay, so I looked in here and I'm like, I don't even know what to do. But there's a little tiny pattern right here and it says love. Uh, and I wish I, uh, it, there's a better picture inside, but it's the chart. So I'm definitely going to have to stitch, stitch it. <laughs> Just change the colors. Um, and this little bird, um, this little pillow is really, really cute. Uh, <clears throat> but definitely changed the colors. <laughs> I, <laughs> he bought that stupid pattern twice. He doesn't even know. Okay, calm down. Like nobody's probably laughing as hard as I am right now. All right. So before I forget, um, this. Lizzie Kate patterns. They are going to Helen plus size stitcher in England or uh, Great Britain or I don't, somewhere over there in the United Kingdom. Um, next week's plans. I am 
I don't know what I said next week's plans were going to be. Um, I know it wasn't this, but because there's like 19, 18, I think today, days left, it's, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to work all week on this because I only have like two weekends left and um, I need to Margaret my pouch. Y'all, I have decided to own my inner Margaret. I left that on a couple comments and um, my, I had planned before I realized I was going to Margaret that. Um, or I was being a Margaret, that um, I, I had plans and I bought stuff um, for that pouch. And then I was like, oh, you're, this is too much. Nobody's going to want it. And then I saw McKenna put that this is a stitching gift. So you can stitch it and give a gift. And I'm like, I'm going to own every inch of my Margaret with the stitch part and the gift part. Oh, yeah. I'm going to own it. So I'm excited about that. Um, and before I go to Stitch Fest, um, Stitch Fest, Stitch Nanigans, I will, I will share that. Um, okay, so last two things. No, uh, I have a huge thank you um, before I get to the end of this video. See, I, there was so much. I even had to write a list and I think I got everything. Yep, except these last two things. First off, the Country Stitchers shouted out my reveal video. Uh, I think the video went up Thursday night. I, I put it immediately in my watch later. Everybody's videos, the minute my notification pops up, I tap watch later so I can swipe off notifications. I hate a buildup of notifications on my phone. It drives me absolutely bonkers. So I always tap watch later, swipe it off. Now I am almost caught up on my list. Uh, <clears throat> on my watch later list. As a matter of fact, I was caught up. So the next morning I just started playing it and I'm watching the Country Stitchers video. Now I have decided, I have realized that in order for me to get my stitching and sewing goals done, I have to put my phone on do not disturb. So I'm not checking messages at all during the day um, or even in the evening when I'm stitching. I'll never get anything done because it's a compulsion in me to respond to messages to respond to comments and stuff and and I've actually not made that a priority for me right now um, just because I, I need to stitch for my peace of mind um, and I need to sew um, to pay off my bill and so um, I just thought phone social interaction that all is secondary um, and so in the morning I just put on country stitchers and got to work I check messages on lunch and then after dinner, before I start stitching. Now, so <clears throat> they pop up um, and I'm watching, I'm listening and I'm sewing away. I'm not really seeing, just listening. And then uh, they mentioned my room and I screamed y'all, I screamed. Um, so I grabbed my phone to comment and my phone had blown up with YouTube notifications of all of the subscribers that I got and I was like, oh my gosh, so many. So if you're here from Country Stitchers, thank you so much for checking out my channel and following and subscribing, that was incredible. Um, and I left them a really nice, uh, well, I'm not gonna say I left them, or, I thought it was a nice comment. Um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I just thank you so much to Liz and Deb for the shout out. I just was made my whole weekend. I was so excited. All of the new followers, thank you so much. It's just been incredible. Um, and then I got a ton of private messages from people. Um, you need to watch Country Stitcher's video. And I'm like, I did, isn't that amazing? Uh, yeah, so many comments. Um, so yeah, we're all watching Country Stitcher's and that was awesome. Okay, last thing for the video. Um, the giveaway. Um, last week's video was for this Disney Dreams Collection Snow White chart. Um, it had the fabric, all the floss, never been opened. I um, typed out the giveaway list. Okay, random number generator. Um, here, I'll show this first. See them all out of sorts. 1 to 31. Um, random number generator 1 to... 31, generate, number is 10. Number 10 is Carrie Schultz. 
So Carrie, if you see this before I comment on your comment, message me your uh, your address and I will get this in the mail to you. Um, my email is down below and I'll leave it in the comment on last week's video. Uh, this week's giveaway is Lizzie Kate's Life Is Not Measured. If this is a pattern that you would like to stitch, to have for the giveaway, um, just put, I would like to stitch the Lizzie Kate in your comment. Make sure it's L-I-Z-Z-I-E, although I'll be reading every single comment and writing your name down. Not like there was that many for the last one or anything, but um, yeah, but still, spell Lizzie's name right, right? Um, anyway, usual rules apply. I always forget to say them because I think I take for granted everybody knows. You have to be 18 so you can give me your address. Um, it's open to anybody in any country. I'll mail it anywhere. Don't say giveaway because we don't want people searching YouTube for giveaways and someone who doesn't really care about life is not measured pattern getting this and selling it on eBay. We want someone to get it who really wants it, right? Um, and with that, it's a 30 minute video. It's gonna be long. I don't even know that I'm gonna edit too much out. Uh, I apologize for that, y'all. Um, I really do always intend to make my videos about 30 to 45 minutes long. I think that's the sweet spot. And they're always an hour. I always talk too much. I don't know that that will ever change, but none of you ever complain. Um, and so thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, and so with that, I will wish you a very happy weekend. Um, I hope this next week for you is a wonderful week. Um, and as always, stitch all the things. Bye.